Hi everyone, I'm Clara, and today we're going to talk about some YA books for Black History Month. When I was talking with some of our teen advisory group members about what sort of video we wanted to make for Black History Month, we had the unfortunate realization that most of them could only think of a small handful of YA books with black main characters. Part of that is a problem with publishing, there just aren't as many YA books with black main characters as there are with white main characters, and that's a problem that a lot of people are working to fix. There are publishers like Lee and Lowe that focus specifically on racial diversity, and there are movements like We Need Diverse Books that are focusing on bringing more diversity to literature and some of them specifically to YA literature. That being said, it's also failing on the library's part. We need to do more to bring attention to our books that do have diversity and that focus on characters who aren't just white, straight, cis, etc. So here's some books in our library that have black main characters here in the YA section. So for YA books with black main characters, the largest category we have is contemporary fiction. That just means that it's set in modern times without any magical or sci-fi elements. Some of the books that we have include Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. This book takes place over the span of like 30 seconds as the main character moves through an elevator and makes one of the biggest decisions of his life. The book is told in verse and has won several awards. We also have Dear Martin by Nick Stone, in which the main character deals with facing racial stereotypes and police profiling for the first time in his life, while also going through an experiment trying to ask himself continuously, what would Martin do? We also have The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This book also focuses on police brutality. The main character sees one of her friends shot and killed, even though he is unarmed and not making any violent advances. This book was inspired by the Black Lives Matter movement and is being made into a motion picture. We've got When I Was the Greatest, also by Jason Reynolds. Really, Jason Reynolds is just amazing and you should read all of his books. In addition to having racial diversity, this book also has some neurodivergent diversity. Uh, one of the side characters has Tourette syndrome. The main character, his best friend and his best friend's brother, all have to deal with getting into sort of a rough situation in which their very lives may depend on what they do next. We also have American Street by E.B. Zuboy. This book tells the story of a teenage immigrant from Haiti trying to figure out her place in the United States and deal with a lot of the complications that come with that. We've got Down by Law by Nini Simone. This is the first book in the Throwback Diaries series and follows the main character Isis as she deals with the ups and downs of her life. We've also got Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. This follows main character Madeline as she deals with the disease in which she's allergic to everything. And so she lives her life isolated in her home until her neighbor Ollie moves in and suddenly she's wondering if there's more to life than simply living. We have Pinned by Sharon Flake. Uh, in this book, main character Autumn is dealing with the fact that she is dyslexic and having trouble in school while also trying to maintain her place as the only girl on her school's wrestling team. She becomes friends with Adonis, who lives in a wheelchair and has no legs, and they learn from each other and try and figure out how to make life work. And finally, even though it's currently checked out, we also have Radio Silence by Alice Osman. This book is a story about podcasts and friendship and figuring out who you are and how to find your way in the world. So that's it for contemporary books. We also have some thrillers with black main characters. There's Knots and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. This is a dystopian thriller in which knots are second class citizens and crosses are first class citizens. And then Callum, who is a knot, and Sefi, who is a cross, start falling in love. We also have Liar by Justine Larbalastier. Micah is the main character of this one, and she is a pathological liar, but when her boyfriend is murdered, she suddenly has to figure out how to tell the truth and if she's even able. We also have a couple of historical fictions for today's video. First, there's The Steep and Thorny Way by Cat Winters. This takes place in Oregon in 1923 and is a retelling of Hamlet. And we have Chains by Laurie House Anderson. This is the first in the Seeds of America series and tells the story of Isabel, who is fighting for her freedom during the Revolutionary War. We also have many titles by Walter Dean Myers, who primarily wrote YA with black main characters, including What They Found, an anthology of short stories. We have the Whole March series by John Lewis, Andrew Aiden, and Nate Powell. In this semi-autobiographical series, we learn John Lewis's story during the Civil Rights Movement. The library also has the Black Panther comic book series, which tells the story of the superhero Black Panther, or Chala, the leader of the nation Wakanda. 
And though it's currently checked out, we also have the comic book series The Runaways, which tells the story of a group of teenagers who find out that their parents are actually kind of sort of supervillains. We also have several new books ordered that will be gracing our shelves soon, like Let's Talk About Love by Claire Kahn, The Bells by Danielle Clayton, and Piecing Me Together by Renee Watson. And now for upcoming events. Even though the library is closed today on February 19th for President's Day, we are still having our Books to Film Club tonight at 6 o'clock. We're going to be watching the film To Kill a Mockingbird and discussing the book it is based on by Harper Lee. On Tuesday the 20th, we're going to be continuing the cult classic comedy series for this month, and this week we're going to be watching Clerks. On Thursday the 22nd, we're having a Pushing the Limits event at 6 o'clock. Pushing the Limits is a series in which we try and analyze science through literature. At this event, we're going to be discussing the book Flight Behavior by Barbara Kingsolver. And finally, on Friday the 23rd, we're having our tabletop gaming night at 7 o'clock. This is an event for ages 16 and up in which you can play board games, you can play your favorites, or you can try some new ones, bring your friends, or meet new people who are interested in playing board games. And if you're interested in any other events or further information about these events, you can check out our events calendar at coosbaylibrary.org. So if you're a teen who's interested in YouTubing, and you're interested in hearing your voice and opinions heard when it comes to this channel, consider joining our teen advisory group, or TAG. We meet once a month, we plan feature events, and TAG members get first access into what sort of videos we make, and learning how to make the videos themselves. For more information about that program, check out the information and application in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this channel, feel free to leave them in the comments below, or email us at coosbaylibrary at gmail.com. And that's all for this week, folks. Come check us out. We hope to see you soon.